So today we're gonna lock, uh, we're gonna do in the simple step for you. So the first step is we're gonna have uh, glass slides, get a glass slides. The second step we will do a uh, label. Okay, always make sure your label. So we draw a big circle and write SA on the side. So this is what we looks like. But be careful about it because of these dye or these marker may be damage the lens of the microscope. So you have to flip it over. Okay. So we use the other side to do this uh, thing. Now before we do, this water needs to be turned on a little bit. Let it be running very slow, not like flushing. And then we turn on the Bunsen burner. So the brown sample that turned it on, you will see there is a, um, there is a switch which is for the control the the gas coming and also the switch at the bottom which is for the, um, the mount of the fire. So the first thing what we do is you have a loop, make sure this is straight. If it's not straight, use your hands to adjust it. Then we flame it. Okay, we flame it first. Now how we make sure it's flame the girl, which is sterilized, everything turns red. And the flame a little bit on the top. Okay? Then we get one drop of the water. Just a very one tiny drop of the water in the middle of the slides. So you should can see. If I give it to see is it look it just looks like that. Okay there. Yeah. One drop of the water in the middle. Now you, we have to sterilize it. Because we are going to put the bacteria there that has to be sterilized. So then we're going to put the bacteria there. How we do? We have a slant. This is a slant. Okay, we have a slant. We have to be do the flame so we use little finger to open the cap. Then we flame it on the top. This is make sure there's a the bacteria or microorganism on the air is being killed. Then this loop may be hot, so we go inside and we cool down a little bit. Then we get the smear. Then we get some of the smear. Don't have to block, don't block the slant. It's very, very tiny, uh, gentle to get some smear. Then we flame it again and uh, close it. Okay, now we make a big circle. You have to take a picture right here. We make a big circle of the uh, center of the glass lines. Then we flame the loop. Okay. Now this step, we call it air dry. That needs to be completely done about three to five minutes. We do the air dry. Because otherwise, the microscope will show in the leg if we do the observation later on. So, we wait for completed air dry three to five minutes. Then we do next step called heat fixing. The heat fixing, we using a wood faucet and to be click on one side. Okay? Then, we on the bounce and burner, we back and forth a couple of times. Now, make sure this is not cooking, okay? So you have to be back and forth, back and forth, as long as it's completely, um, completely dried out, which is good. But make sure you know this has to be done completely air dry. If you don't do the air dry, you do the heat fixing, you will have through through the legs in the figures. Now after we do the heat fixing, cool down a little bit, okay, cool down a little bit, then we move the, micro, uh, the glass lights into the basin on the rack there. Okay, at this moment, the very important procedure you need to know, and don't forget, is wear a goggle, because we are going to using a dye. Okay, so we have to wear a goggle. Now, what kind of the dye you want to use? On this rack, 
there is uh, so many dyes there. And you could be, uh, choose any one you like. We mentioned don't use methylene blue because that doesn't have a very strong uh, positive control. Okay. And also we don't need a fire, you can turn on the fire. So which one you like, we have, uh, here we have actually saffroning, we had a carbon fusion, we have nigrosin. Nigrosin don't use it. That's for negative control. This is methylene blue. This is malachite green. And the one we use a lot is uh, uh, this is gram iodine. Uh, we should use crystal violet. That's a very strong dye. So let's say we use crystal violet. Okay. Let's say we we use a crystal violet. How to do it? It's very simple, since it's called simple stain, you add one drop to the center. Add one drop to the same center of the circle, okay, a very large drop. This one has been stuck there, so we add one drop to the center. Now usually that we will be staining about one minute. So we stain about one minute. Let's say the one minute is ready. The so next step we do the rings. Now before you do the rings, make sure this uh, tap water is running but not very like dramatically and very severe. So we put this side and then we very gentle rings. Okay. Now, after doing this, you need to have a paper towel. We will be just a very gentle to press it. I'm put it in the middle, very gentle to press it. And this should be ready to go. It should be looks like that. And you can see. Now for simple stain, we want to see the shape, morphology of the bacteria and the arrangement. So this class slides, we will be doing the observation under 10x and use oil immersion. Using the oil immersion, we will do the first observation under 100x. Okay. So that's all I have for the simple stain. Turn it off. Yeah.